Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade with your story. Was a little mad. Add bloodlines somewhere into that sentence. Because I'm not playing a tabletop game right now. Alright, so we have some options. We need to go to Chinatown. We need to go and visit. Tony Sessions' apartment right here. Uh, the prince wants to sacrifice us now. So, I don't have to go and report back to Isaac, apparently. I'm still sort of tempted though, and I will visit this place after I have. And after doing that, uh, we will go downtown for a second, just to check on our little girl. And uh, also to check on uh, the email. Both options of which are pretty important for different reasons. Evening. The flesh crafter who walked the front is not so crafty now. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. And what is something else? Certainly. I can know these things later. Thank you. Of course, that is not entirely true, but that's not something our character would know. You know, with it. not sure. But we need two more XP, so uh, let's start off here. I don't know which apartment we're looking for. Might just be this one. Now we don't want to be seen. Peculiar enough. Don't remember where we have to set these things up. Hollywood. One in her bathroom, one in her bedroom, and one in her kitchen. So there's none required here in the living room. But there is one required here. These are nice and shiny. And then we also have to check her computer after we have accomplished all this. Refresh that. I think she went into the kitchen herself right now, didn't she? Oh, she's down there again. And now I need to get to her computer. That dude is back in while watching the TV. That seems unnecessary. Ooh. Our obfuscation just ran out completely. Camera. Cleopatra. Cam check. Three cameras detected. Nice done. I can't wait to see Dirty Little Tony in action. We're monitoring for you from here. Get out quietly and come back. Alright. I'm just gonna stand there. Like a melon. I I think he crashed into the door now. Doors are dangerous. You know how it is. Okay, mission success. That that went smoothly. And now it's time to grab our cab and head back to downtown. Yeah. Hop in. Hello? Anyone home? Richard, similarly to the other victims of the series. Hello? No? I oh, hear you are. 
Hi. My veins are so dry. I'm a desert rose. I want your storm. I need your rain. Just a few drops. Make me blossom. Do I hear thunder, my rose? Oh, thank you. <sighs> Amazing. I feel so much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. Uh, you're so precious when you speak such nonsense. Goodbye, pet. Okay. Let me check this again. Email. Then. I recently read Mr. Flayton's scathing review of the Cavaletti Cafe in the Sun, and I must tell you that I am extremely happy with his, his, his conclusions. You have done well. Please accept the payment I have left you in your mailbox. We will no doubt be seeing each other soon, Sebastian LaCroix. Okay. Uh, oh. 11. The cost of an attack is often paid later. 12. Mitnick here. I've got the information on the first of the network hubs. The terminal is in Santa Monica in an old place called Megahertz Computing. I'll send another email with Recon, power up the terminal, find the net security folder and run the ShrekNet command. The password on the folder is killbaits, don't ask. I'll message you when I see the hub activated. 13. Megahertz Computing is at the end of 2nd Street in Santa Monica next to the asylum. The only entrance is through the back door so you'll have to find an alley to get back there. I'm leaving you a key to the front for the door in your mailbox. Good luck, get yeah, this one should be easy. 14. Sweet Kindred, thank you again for all you did for me. I want you to know that I meant it when I said I adored you. You made me feel that the world was not nearly so dark and desperate. Hope to see you again in my club and in my dreams. All my love, Vivi. Yay. 15. Hey boss, did some spring cleaning today, came across something that might tickle you. A kid used to live here, had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Woman. I got a touch of nostalgia, nostalgia. so you find a copy of Tap Hotel starring me, I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Put the videotape in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your haven. Ooh. Cool. Guess we'll have to track down that hotel. We should have a picture of Vivi here now, right? I didn't misunderstand. She said she'd send me something to my haven. But I'm not sure where. All this art is just very, very dark. So I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Have you seen anything? Master? Meh, not here. Well, actually. Master? You could plead for me a little. I hope that is not your current health. I did some obfuscation earlier and I might want to recover. I certainly don't want you there because you are a very sweet person. Okay. I am not actually certain exactly what we were supposed to do here, but um, let's take a look around. Regardless, there is supposed to be. Well, that's the plot bank. Ah, megahertz. I was supposed to go and visit my mailbox, wasn't I? Email's one thing, but can't put the key in the ma ma email. Okay, mailbox it is. $100 and the key. Oh! I have been promised a gift in return. Cool. Excellent. I didn't realize that. 
that that was actually a quest not thing that I should have noted. Need a ride. Right, so this is once again not the correct street, it's over there. Here we go. How stealthy do we need to be about this? You received instructions on how to do it to the Cool. I'm just gonna look everywhere. I don't need to look. Eight. Eight. That's a lot. Also, we can avoid some stuff. I'm sort of curious now. Oh, I see. This is a combat zone. Why is this a combat zone? I don't feel like this has to be a combat zone. It's just a computer store at night. There should be no one here. There should be fuck all to worry about, eh? Um. Not sure that won't be anything. Oh, I had to turn the power on. Okay. So I guess it was more meant along the lines of having this as a quick access to here. So does it need lock picking? Gotcha. I didn't understand why this is a combat zone. Net security. Uh, kill baits. Shrek net. Cool. Oh, and I should probably have enough for the computer now. Excellent, which means I should have enough to read a book. Excellent. So now if I look here, the computer stat is maxed out. Let's it be. Yeah, that sounds about right. And I continue to have no idea why that was a combat zone. Apparently I clicked by accident. That was not my intention. Hi. Ow. Let me just put my weapon away. I did nothing illegal, I just drove a taxi. And then tried to hit the taxi with an axe. By accident. And those things happen. I can't go home and there are cops pursuing me. Police hunting. Can I go in? Yeah. Do I have a radio in my head to listen in on them? It does make a s slight bit of sense that they can't just go home with the police pursuing me. What was that breathing noise? Hey, how Master? are you doing? Uh, eh, not here. Have a good time. I'm glad it doesn't allow me to drink from her when she is essentially already dry. Oh. That's... That's strange. Wireless camera? You put the camera down in your mailbox. I had an operative scope out the joint beforehand and he marked the best place for the camera with a red X. Find it. It's probably someplace high and mount the camera. 
Once you put it in place, log into the terminal, downstairs find the camera folder and activate netcam. You won't be able to activate the hub until the camera is in place. The next terminal is in the basement of the Nocturne Theater in downtown. No recon to follow. No one can know you were there. Stay out of sight and no killing. I need you to set up a wireless cam. I'll send you instructions on how to activate it. Once it's in place and activated, log in to net security for the password, break a leg and run Shreknet. 13. The Nocturne Theater is downtown just across from the Empire Arms Hotel. I couldn't get a key to the front door, so you'll have to enter through the sewers. Sorry, that's the best I could do. That's fine. Okay, let's go check our mailbox. Apparently it's large enough to fit the webcams. I don't remember how big they were. I mean, we saw some in the apartment, so I guess they're not too big. Yeah, I guess not. Anyway, this was the elevator. And everyone loves elevators, so... This is just a web camera. Cool. And now I have to figure out how to get into the sewers from here. Is this the place? Yeah. Right, that's the Empire Arms Hotel. There should be back alley over here somewhere. We saw some people vomit a lot of blood back there in... Like, some time ago. Hey, if you don't want to get trained, get out of my way. Don't take the back door. So we do just have to find a sewer entrance. Which apparently sounds a lot easier than it is. Uh, thanks for offering, but not right now. I doubt I could hire someone to join me on an adventure into the sewers of downtown LA. Okay, that's the map. Let's take a look. We are there. Is C Nocturne Theater? Yes it is. I could have just gone straight across with no problem at all. Why I did not, I am not sure, probably because I wanted to be sure. That makes sense to me. No one can see us. So this is the second stealth episode of this. Week. Well, no, the second stealth mission of this week. Right, what's that? You need to set down a camera. Somewhere around here. I'm not sure where. This is very dark. And I can't see anything. Okay, let's get in the vent. See how that helps us. Wait, no. This is the wrong place. This is our building. This is where I live. So it was the correct decision to not just go over there. Okay, let's look at the map again. I am here. Two is kind of apartments. Right. I was completely misreading the situation. I need three. For some reason, my brain went equalized C and three. That makes no sense to me. Oh, I don't know. That's what happened. So what you want to do is go down this path and then head up. 
from here. Access point B. Yeah. There we go. That's the wrong thing. No one can know I was here. I'm not allowed to know. Of going out. Probably need to go up this way. Or up this ladder. That might also be the case. Let's wait for the guard to not bother me anymore. There goes more blood. Between all of the blood, everyone loves training all that blood. It's good for us, though. Except, probably not really, no. But we found the camera spot, so at least we have that. I don't think we found the computer yet, so that's probably down the other path from the. the, the which isn't ideal, per se. But we can work with that, I'm sure. Oops. That seemed to me like it could have been ouches. Okay, how are we doing for blood? Let's just use a blood bank. I'm not sure if that only did one point. Or if it did two or something like that. That was terrifying. I had a moment of not having obfuscate running. Can't go into the bathrooms. This looks a good place. Okay, email. Nose. Did you leave this broken spotlight up on the railing? Someone will trip over it and break their neck. Put it into the workshop as soon as possible. I will not stow that away for you. Okay. Camera. Net cam. Camera detected, enabled. Net security. Uh, break a leg. And Shrek neck. Net. Your regular James Bond. Check your email soon. I'll be in touch. Cool. I didn't realize the card walked to the very end of this corridor. That's good to know. But this one doesn't do anything for me. Okay, so we just need to sneak out of here. Like this. And then... We can just... Uh, go about our own business. I didn't rise, realize there was also a ladder this way. That, that would probably have been a lot easier to handle. We're done here. Okay, so now we just need to get back onto the street, I think. 
seems like a small enough idea. Yeah, this this goes up to the street, right? Might do. I have no idea if it actually does. Let's hope so. Yeah. We're in the parking lot here. That's not bad. It's alright. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh and I'll see you next time. Right. There we go. I'm I, I was quite sure I had to add something more there. Huh.